All right, hey there, guys. It's Metro. We're back with a very quick episode. Don't have much time to record, but I did want to try something uh, before I get going here. Um, yesterday's last episode we did, we got farmed by that. Uh, well, we didn't get farmed, but we had some trouble killing that one rare. And I'm debating on how I want to solve that. So we're going to go see. Uh, I just changed that level. That's it. Um, and I don't know if that's going to be good or bad. Um, I think, like... There's all kinds of stat values on the NPC, and it's like really complicated because the numbers are just digits, and it's like, okay, well, it says it's got 105 attack power, right? But is that a lot compared to the mobs in the area? So like I'd have to constantly keep like referencing what's in the area, and I'd be doing this for every single mob. So I think the ideal circumstance here will simply be to nerf the actual level of them That'll also help keep the experience in check a bit, because it, it does seem a bit high. I basically just uh, multiplied every experience by 10. That's what I did to uh, make these more interesting. And then I noticed like, oh, I got rested. The one in the couple episodes ago where I got like 20K, that was because I had rested still. Um, so that's fine, I guess. That's not that high, probably. But uh, yeah, I do think like, yeah, like 10K plus for these mobs is kind of... So I'm thinking like maybe lower the level, they'll be easier to kill. I think it's ridiculous that they're, I looked at a lot of them in Ashenvale, pretty much every one that we've encountered so far in the playthrough, and they're always two or three levels higher than the rest of the mobs. Like the highest uh, in the area is uh, say 23, and this mob's 25. So I'm not a big fan of that, but, um, but uh, yeah, I just wanna see if lowering it two levels will be enough um, to make it you know, I don't think so, probably, but I'm hoping that some, in some way it'll be better. We'll find out really quick. I'm just going to maybe even die and try it again, but I do want to try this, uh, because I feel like this is really crucial to the playthrough. And if it doesn't work, then I have to uh, reconsider what we're doing here. It's like, there's just no way, like a warlock or even probably like a paladin. I, I, I don't know, like, it just, it makes me wonder, like, what can you do if you are expected to just trade autos with it, you know? Like, Druid has plenty of options, and I'm, I'm like, choosing not to use a lot of them, so it's kind of my own fault, but... I, I just really want to do a warrior at some point, you know? And it's, like... Makes me think that there's just no way I would ever be able to do a warrior and actually kill a single rare. Like, I think literally no rares would be able to be killed, uh, based on what I've seen. Even even the ones in Dark Shore kind of took me by surprise. Those ones were actually pretty easy, though. So I don't think I would mess with those ones. But, yeah, it, w it was surprising. Okay, I think we can just kill this guy again, and then we'll be good. But I did notice that this guy has, like, a ton of, uh... He's got a ton of resist. He has 350 nature resist, so... It would be a tough kill regardless, I think. But yeah, he's level 22 now. I lowered him uh, from 25 to 22 to be more in line with the areas. Of course, he's not going to give any experience just because he's that low too. So, you know, that seems fair to me. Um, but I just want to see, like, okay, this is a gray. This is now a gray uh, rare. <laughs> is am, am I still going to lose 1v1 to this guy? That would be kind of silly, I think. So let's find out. You still resist fairy fire. Oh my god, you can't even put up your freaking... Yeah, literally... I don't think I can even keep these dots up. But yeah, he's just absolutely massacring me. He's missing a lot more, though. I mean, of course, I'm fighting a gray mob, so... Alright, well, we did kill him. Yeah, an axe. But yeah, it feels like... I mean, he's freaking how many levels lower? Poison as well. Yeah. Abolish poison is quite cool because it stays on. Alright, anyway, I kind of just wanted to try that out. Um, I, I guess I'll include this. I, I wanted to record it because I thought I was going to get experience from it. And I didn't want it to be like weird, like, why did I ding 30? I had a feeling I was going to ding 30 from it. Um, but I guess we'll still include it anyway, even though we didn't get experience. I don't know if there's anything else I want to test right now, but there's some other, like I, I messed up, I messed with like the rare up here. I just lowered everybody's level like that I've already fought basically because it seemed obvious to me that it was too high. 
I don't know. It's kind of weird. I'm just not really sure what the right approach is. Those like massive hits are just kind of ridiculous. Like, but I think it will be balanced. I, I think I'll wait until uh, I do more zones. One way, that, even if it's not on this character, but just like in general, more zones because I know there's like I, I've already seen like a couple like ridiculous rares though around the world. Like just even in actual like even in season of mastery. So. I feel like it's going to be a perpetual problem. I'm just wondering if it's like somehow this zone or maybe somehow this character, like a combination of everything. So like, you know, we do another playthrough, but I'm just, I'm thinking like, if I don't actually have like, a, if, if you're not like a hunter, right? Like if you don't have a badass pet to just tank that thing for you, how, how the hell would you ever survive that? I mean, even there, the 29 uh, versus the 22, he still wrecked me, but he missed a lot more. I, I think like, Level is really important in Classic. Like, it's key to a lot of combat values. Um, but, of course, it's also key to the experience you get. So, you know, unfortunate that we ended up with that uh, situation there. But I did want to test it out because I knew he was, like, the only one that was near the town that I knew um, exactly, like, what to expect from. Uh, but, yeah, I think ultimately that should work out. We'll see, you know, to do it to every single rare, I don't think I'll do that quite yet. Probably have another look at the Ashenvale one or the uh, Stone Tower Mountain ones because at least we did those. Um, you know, I know all of those as well. But I'm just pretty sure that there's like a universal fact about what I just like. The the mobs are always higher level. It's just always the case. So I think that's probably a good idea to just adjust them universally as well. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next actual episode.